This is so much fun. If you guys have kids, this is totally worth getting into with them. Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Cup of Tea. I have decided that we're gonna dwell into the world of post-workout and pre-workout. So today we're gonna be doing protein bowls, my version, my style, and totally delicious. So let's talk about my bowls. My post and pre-workout protein bowls are ideal and perfect for your pre-workout as well as post-workout. Why? Because they have all the nutrients and the macros that your body needs to sustain throughout a workout as well as in the recovery process for after your workout. A good pre-workout for your body is so vitally important because when you're working out, you're, you're wanting stamina, you're needing energy, you are burning energy, you're burning up that stamina and with nothing in your system that is sufficient enough to fulfill your workout, you're not gonna do it to the best of your ability. That's why a pre-workout is so important. And we need to calculate the nutrients and the macros that our body needs individually for what we put into our body before personally we work out. Let's talk post-workout. A post-workout needs to be something or an energy source or a carbohydrate source. Don't forget energy does come from carbohydrates. But you want to refuel your muscles. You are breaking down muscle fibers in your body. You're tearing down that muscle and then you're pumping them up. So taking that concept and bearing that in mind, now you need to refuel your body and refeed it with the correct nutrients to make sure that that muscle development continues. Now let's head over to the kitchen and let me show you why my protein bowls are so great for pre-workout as well as post-workout. Welcome to my kitchen once again and I just wanted to let you know that this is something I call a super easy, easy recipe. Don't forget, wash those hands. Okay, so now that we've done that, super simple, five ingredients and it is one cup of oats, throw it in the bowl. Half a cup of chia seeds, the oats are your carbohydrate sauce. Chia seeds are your fat. Your almond butter, one cup of almond butter, creamy almond butter. I normally buy only organic and probably from my local supermarket. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And now almond butter, believe it or not, has a lot of protein in it. It actually has 56 grams of protein per cup. So if you divide this into 16 bowls, you have a 16th of a cup of protein. How cool is that? <laughs> now we're gonna add a protein source, another form of protein. So I did mention that the almond butter does have protein in, and it does have fat. I like to use my Arbonne protein shake powder. Reason being is because there's absolutely no chemicals. And I will promote a link in this caption with my affiliation link to Arbonne. The reason I sell it is because I don't believe in any other product because a lot of it has a lot of junk in it that I don't want to put in my body. Arbonne is vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, and the list goes on. So this I highly recommend. It also is so pure that the body does absorb into the bloodstream a lot faster which is great for post-recovery. All I'm gonna do in here is put an equivalent amount of one serving. So with Arbon, it is two scoops equal 40 grams and 20 grams of protein. So that should be ideal for a snack. Last but not least, we're gonna do Oh Honey Honey. Honey is an optional. I like it because it is natural sugar and of course it's so good for your immune system. And I've been eating a teaspoon of honey every single day of my life from wherever I reside. It helps with allergies. If you buy honey from a different state, probably not gonna do you much good, but if you buy honey from your local farmer, your allergies within a couple of months are bound to disappear. Mark my words, it happened to me. So this is local organic honey. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna get a tablespoon and dollop it. So I'm gonna put actually two tablespoons in here. So we're really gonna dive into this now. Make sure that all these ingredients are nice. And eventually the consistency with the oats is gonna start being less sticky. So you don't have to use your hands. I just think it's part of the experience. So what I'm gonna do is I have completely mixed the ingredients. It's still a little sticky, but that's kind of great. So we're gonna take a little bowl like this and we're gonna pull it. This is so much fun. If you guys have kids, this is totally worth getting into with them. 
And now we're gonna put them into the fridge for 20 minutes until ready to eat. Or you could just keep them in the fridge and snack as you go along. Let me know what you guys think. Did you give them a shot? Let me know what else you wanna see. These are my pre and post workout bowls. Why? Because they have all the nutrients that your body needs before a workout as well as post workout. These are the perfect on the go healthy snack. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and ask me any questions.